and girls, this is Claudia here from Metal Days 2017 in Slovenia, Tolmin. And we had a bit of rain today, but we have a really nice band coming straight from Slovenia to play on the festival here. And I'm so glad to talk to Hellcrawler right now. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. So, um, you explained before the interview that the two of you are writing the lyrics and writing the music. So, what, what are the lyrics about? Well, we're actually trying to focus on a, on a decadent future, uh, on like a post-apocalyptic survival mm -hmm. sp human species that is struggling with, uh, with living in a, in a new world, mm -hmm. in a new world that they don't know. And the story is being told through the eyes of a single person, which, mm -hmm. is, which is the Hellcrawler. Okay. The, uh, the main character in the story and um, we are we're trying to kind of paint what we see today reflected in the future mm -hmm. so this was not my idea intentionally though I write the lyrics the idea was from him and from a, a together with was well, devised by him and by an ex member mm -hmm. and um, we, we are trying to, to like to just deliver like a dark vision of the future for the mm -hmm. human species so. So triggered by what is happening now. Triggered by what is happening now, yeah. Mm -hmm. a, bit, a bit, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit, um, how do I say it? It's a bit negative, but yeah. it's also a bit like empowering. So yeah. hence the hence the style of the music, yeah. So maybe we can change this bleak future. Maybe. I hope. Maybe. So. I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talking about the music, yes. so you're writing uh, on the guitar, I guess. Yeah, mainly. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, I read about you that there's a lot of different styles mixing in your music. So what, what are the influences? Well, basically, we have all grown up listening to bands like Slayer, Iron Maiden and mm -hmm. stuff like that. In our teenage years, we start listening to the Swedish, the Swedish style, like mm -hmm. Entomb, Dismember and all those giants. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we started the band, we basically tried to be a crust band, so more punk influenced. Mm -hmm. But because we're all metalheads, it immediately developed more into a death metal style. Mm -hmm. Though we still mix or our influences uh, into the music, so you can hear death metal, heavy metal, punk influences, uh, some stoner? fresh passages, also some stoner passages. Yeah, <laughs> we try to cover this one, but mm -hmm. yeah, we are stoneheads, so we also introduced some of those elements in the first album and maybe some even more in the second though it's camouflaged mm -hmm. into uh, different styles and uh, although m most of people try to label us like a death metal or swedish death metal clone we mm -hmm. are trying not to be another one mm -hmm. so we maybe just change the sound a bit, uh, mix different kind of riffs into the music, different kind of rhythms. Mm -hmm. So it's not just another clone. We try to be innovative, it's, let's say, but it's difficult to be innovative uh, nowadays. Mm -hmm. So uh, talking about the sound and the lyrics combined, we come to your singing also. So um, how did you start your singing in the band? Um, oh, in the band. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, uh, can I be honest? Yeah, sure. I was smoking pot with the ex-bassist guy and he suggested to me since I just lost my band that oh. uh, if, if I wanted, if I was interested uh, to join another band, I was like reluctant at first mm -hmm. because I just, you know, I had a band with friends and yeah. that, that was kind of, that was kind of hard, you know, to lose that, that connection. Yeah. Yeah. And, it's like uh, a family. Yeah. It's like, mm. it's like a family though. We were young and stupid, you know, it was still like, well. uh, it, it was a loss. Mm. And um, so I was reluctant at first, but he said, just, Hey, just, just come to the, just come, let's try, let's try it out. Let's mix it. Yeah. And then I, I came to the band practice and I guess they were kind of happy, but you know, it kind of made me feel happy again to, to mm -hmm. just do it. So, so, um, yeah, then I joined in 2010. Mm -hmm. And so, what is important for you concerning style? Concerning style? Uh -huh. And technique? Well, j just, just, to be, just, well, j just to be true to, to doing it the way you like to do it, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, it, Armani. Yeah. <laughs> most. <laughs> them both. No, but I mean, honestly, I just, I mean, if they, they're not, they're not putting any shackles on me. I'm okay. free to do whatever I want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so, 
almost. <laughs> Not everything. Whoa, almost. And uh, that, that's good enough for me. And I like the guys, so I enjoy playing with them. And, you know, it, it's, it's, like, um, it's like a second love, yeah? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so you're also experimenting with your voice? Well, uh, I am, though. I mean, it's, it's kind of a chartered territory that I mm -hmm. just roam around, yeah? So they're saying, maybe sometimes they, they, give, they always give me suggestions, yeah? Mm -hmm. All the time they say, like, maybe you should do this part like this, maybe you should do it like this, maybe don't go so low, maybe go higher. Mm -hmm. But it's always stuff that I want to do. It's just yeah. that when I hear it back, when we record it and I hear it, I say, okay, yeah, they were right, you know, it sounds yeah. better this way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So you can be creative and yeah, work I, together. My hands, my hands are mostly free, like <laughs> <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> so, uh, when you have to decide which songs are going on the album, like, is it a democratic kind of thing or? Uh, yeah, not of course. So much? <laughs> we are really a democratic band, but mostly we rely on our feelings. So, if we really feel that strong connection with a song, so mm -hmm. it ends up on the album. If it just doesn't give us the film, it stays there for some future mm -hmm. re-elaborations, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, all of us are decided. Uh, I have a question that I put like in every interview, and that is, what defines or who defines an artist? Just, what is an artist? Are you artists? It's a difficult question, but um, my opinion is an artist is a person who creates. So if you are mm -hmm. creative, if you are creative and uh, whatever you do, or painting, making music, just writing lyrics, uh, you are an artist for me. Mm -hmm. But this is just my opinion, so mm -hmm. I know. So it doesn't matter what other people say so much? No. Mm -hmm. if, you're, um, if you have uh, creativity in your head, that this makes you an artist. Mm -hmm. what? Yeah, you agree? <laughs> I agree. Yeah. It's just that, you know, if, if, he, if somebody does something creative and likes what he's doing, mm -hmm. even if he's the only person that likes it, doing that, I guess it kind of makes him an artist in itself. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking about the music scene, uh, what do you feel like nowadays? Did it change within time or how did it change? It's always changing. But there is always some people who, um, well, there is always like groups of people, you know. There is, there is, there is this, like, every, every time something new comes out, you know, mm -hmm. it, it swaps some people off, like, yeah. from, from their main tribe, yeah? yeah? And, I mean, that's, that's kind of, that's okay. So it's not always the same people at the same time. But there is also some, like, really ardent old school people who mm -hmm. truly love what they listen to, yeah? And they, I mean... To me, it's fascinating. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm I'm 30 now, and I, mm -hmm. I see people who are 70, and yeah. they they I mean, to me, seeing a guy 70 tattooed, you know, yeah. riding a bike, having mm -hmm. an Iron Maiden T-shirt, I mean, it just makes <laughs> me smile. It's the best thing. The best thing. Yeah. This is like where you want to go. Yeah, and if you see one 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 guy like that when you're performing, and he's mm -hmm. like, he's you see that he's enjoying it. If there's one guy enjoying it, I just love it. Mm -hmm. But whenever we talk about uh, the scene, it always circulates. Yeah. So it may be within the music or in the fashion everything is kind of recycling yeah. Yeah. itself yeah. <laughs> so maybe what was modern in the 90s it mm -hmm. became modern again in yeah. the 2005 and so on so everything just changes it develops and then recycles itself yeah. and mm -hmm. you get it back in like 10 yeah, 15 form. 20 years mm -hmm. again so you write some stuff and then you think it doesn't fit you just wait 15 years Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll keep playing it for 15 years. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because Someday you will like it, for sure. <laughs> Someday. Yeah, let's say so. Because this is just our hobby. We all have jobs. This is mm -hmm. not what we're doing to, for living. And yeah. uh, We would love to. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So support them so they can live a bit. <laughs> so, so, so we just like what we're doing. So mm -hmm. maybe, let's hope we will keep on going to do this for mm -hmm. another 10, 15 years. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one last question: uh, What about the gear? Is there like a lot of different gear you're buying, or is it you're sticking to the one guitar yeah. you own? I or? believe this is a fetish for all mu musicians. For we most, yeah. just keep on changing gears and mm -hmm. buying even more pedals. But in the end, what it does matter just to plug in the guitar within an amp without all the pedals and when you get the sound just by plugging it, that's it. 
Mm-hmm. That's a really the rest nice is guitar. just yeah. The rest is just a uh, game and. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So any technical fetishes for you? <laughs> technical fetishes? Well, I don't. I don't really have much. The best part about mm-hmm. being a singer is that you go on stage and just plug the microphone. That's my job. Okay. So. So you're not concerned with any effect stuff. More. Well, you know, there's always room for experiment, but mm-hmm. right now, no, not yeah. really. Yeah, we try to keep our music uh, organic without uh, implementing too much effects, n- not uh, recording too much overdubs. So mm-hmm. we try to be, we try to sound uh, as much live as possible on the record. Mm-hmm. Cool. So what you get on stage, you get on the record. So we also leave mistakes. Mm-hmm. But yeah. uh, that's great. This yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really honest. Yeah, we. It, just try to recreate what we really are yeah. on the record so we are not uh, trying to fake anything mm-hmm. yeah we're not we're not metronome people we kind of miss the metronome or the metronome misses us sometimes he, she calls us <laughs> <laughs> hey where are you <laughs> <laughs> ah, but you know we, we like the dirty music so we're gonna keep playing it uh-huh. that way so check out their dirty music life and support them with buying cds Thank you. Or Problems. just downloading on Download Bedcamp. So and like them yeah. and check out their page and go to concerts. <laughs> Please dance <laughs> on. Please. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.